Hello guys, I'm going to show you the procedure for changing the timing belt on a Volvo 360. Um, and it's basically the same procedure for all the Volvo red block engines. Now I've already made a start, I've taken the front tyres off and I've jacked uh, the front end up. But you don't need to do that unless your car's got air conditioning because you, have to, you need to take the belts off. The air conditioning belts access from underneath. Okay, so this is what the underhood looks like. This is a fuel injected model, so it's got all of this gear. Which what we'll do, we'll get rid of all that, so that you can see uh, what you need to do next. So now, what we need to do in a minute is we need to remove these belts here. But first of all, we're going to get rid of this fan. All right, leave the belts on, and you need to undo the four bolts that hold this fan in. Okay, so what you do is you use your screwdriver to brace against the fan to stop it turning and then you use a size 10 to free off the bolts. And you do that uh, you do that for all of them. Now, we've loosened off all the four bolts so we can now withdraw the fan. Might need to, if it's a bit tight and you can't quite get it past the shroud, then leave it until you've got the belts off and then you can rotate this round and jiggle it around until you get the fan out. Okay. Now, as you can see, my car's got air conditioning, so I've got a third belt to take off from this side and you can see the adjusters there shining through. So you have to get at those from under the car, but for those of you without air conditioning, much easier job. You undo this bolt here, and unlock the adjustment on this sliding bolt here. And these belts are now loose, and what all we do need to do is I can twiddle this round now. And now I should be able to this fan without hopefully damaging the radiator. Okay, so there we are. Okay, so now we go ahead and take off the water pump pulley. What you do is just take one of the bolts that you use from the fan to get the fan out, you pop it in the hole there, you can hold it against the screwdriver. Then you get your size 10. Sure. Yeah. If you take the tension properly, and then you should be able to undo them. Once you've got one undone, because these bolts are quite short, take one of the longer ones out. Slightly longer, and they'll go through a bit further. Right, so that now comes off. Might need a little just to tweak with the screwdriver, just to, just to loosen it off. Do it gently though, because otherwise it flies into your radiator. You can now go ahead and we can remove the top half timing belt cover and just undo all the bolts here and the screw behind here. Okay. Right, so we've loosened all the bolts off now, so we should just be able to tweak this off now. Now if it's a bit stiff, give it a gentle tweak. But if it's very stiff, you probably missed one somewhere. Alright. On this car, to get at the crankshaft pulley, we've got to take out going to take out this plastic radiator shroud. Because my car's got air conditioning, this fan here that sits here uh, prevents you actually getting this shroud out easily, the radiator shroud. So we have to remove this fan as well. And sometimes in the past, if I've not managed to somehow winkle it past the hoses, we may have to take the, the uh, hoses off the radiator as well. But we'll try not to uh, at this stage. We'll see how we get on. Right, I got it. I managed it. 
Um, I'm, I'm going to end up taking this hose off anyway, because uh, I'm going to change the coolant whilst the, the car's all dismantled, but uh, I didn't need to do it. I managed to winkle it around the side by pulling the hoses to and fro, so you can do it just about. All right, so now we've got full access to everything. And what we need to do is undo a big bolt that's inside there. And uh, Right, so I've got a socket on the uh, crankshaft pulley. Let me just turn the engine round. If it's too stiff, then you can take the plugs out. And what we're looking for is this pip. I don't know whether you can see it on there. Can you see that pip on there? It's going to have to line up with this pip in the timing cover. I don't know whether you can see that or not. Can you see that? If I come in really tight on it? Yeah. Okay. So, keep, we keep going. So we're not there yet. No, we're almost there now. I think that's just about it. There we go. Alright, and you can see that's lined up now. Now, if you find it difficult to get those, see those marks, you can always put a dot bit of paint on the cover there and on that timing mark there so you don't lose your way <laughs> if you need to okay and if you can just confirm if your engine was running all these marks should be lined up but that there's a stripe here and a crankshaft pulley that's also lined up with the zero on the timing count cover there all right so now we need to lock the engine in place now this but the proper volvo tool um, attaches onto the three holes in the crankshaft pulley and i think uses the tensioner um, but we don't have that so my cheats method is to go around the other end of the engine and you can see the crankshaft sensor there for the ignition take that out you'll see a whole load of holes so now we've got everything out of the way. Okay, so now we go ahead and we put a bolt in it. Now you can see this bolt's very big and it just about goes into the hole. Alright, just fits in there. It's a very, very tight fit. So now if I just turn the end of the crankshaft, that's locked in place. All right, that's locked in place, that's not gonna go anywhere. So now, the engine's all locked in position, so we go ahead, I've got my long bar. So now go ahead, and we'll see if we can move this bolt now. I might not be able to do it one-handed, but it's pretty stiff. Okay, so now, I've got the bolt cut. Okay, there it is. All right, no rust on it at all, it's just very, very tight. So we're gonna put that on there. Now, just very gently, Should just winkle off the crankshaft pulley. Okay, and again, nice and gently because you don't want it flying in the radiator because it's very, very heavy. Winkle this off. There it goes. Okay, now. So we've now got access to the full timing belt. Don't lose this. Don't lose this little plate here. Just pull that off. All right. see there's a timing mark just on there as well you'll you'll be able to see it on your own car okay so okay so this is the one you want to undo here the next this is the tension sprocket so what we do just go ahead and undo this that's it loosen that a little bit so that it now should if we pull the belt in and out it should then tension it up okay so now what we need to do it is a two-handed job is you pull the belt and you pull on this tensioner you want to pull the tensioner to maximum loose as it can all right and then along this spring here at the end of it there's a little hole there and you can stick a little drill bit in there and that will keep this tensioner loose so then you can pull the belt out without having to undo the, without having to uh, undo anything. Okay, okay. So I've done that now. All right. So that is completely loose now. All right. And you can just slide that off. Very, very easy. All right. And the belt just falls off. 
Okay, so that's it.